Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Pretty good. Thank you. How, how is everybody? Are you all okay? No problems around your house? Everybody is safe? Yes? Todos están bien? Yeah. Tranquilos? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Con frito? Sí, so, con so. poco. Yes. A little bit, yeah? Wow. Oh, okay. But, it, but you know, um, at least um, you can, uh, what's it called? Um, make use of this time because it's it's nice and cool and um you don't have to be worrying about um you know the mosquitoes and everything right so you can you can sleep all through the night okay so that's that's something good that's something positive okay so so everybody um uh thank you for connecting i know um that uh, you guys are, um, you know, it's, there's a special situation. Um, so thank you very much uh, for connecting on time and everything. Um, so we're going to uh, take attendance right now. Um, so please tell me and um, please open up your microphone when I call your name. And um please also make sure your camera is on so that we can take other hands. Here we go. Aaron Alberto Peraza Marte. Aaron Alberto Peraza Marte. Adriana Beatriz Rodriguez Sosa. Present. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najaro. Ana Mercedes. Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Present. Thank you. Daniel Oswaldo Aquino Corea Coreas. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Thank you. Um, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderon. Edwin Adonai. Okay. Um, Eloisa Abigail Ortiz de Garcia. Let's say. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Henry Oswaldo Quintanilla Lopez. Hello, present. Hello. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vives. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Jose Angel Hernandez Lopez. Present, Wonderful. Thank you. Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. I'm um, here, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Catherine Jamile Daviles Garcia. Present. Thank you. Kenya Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Present, me. Thank you. Kevin Adrián Rodríguez López. Kevin Adrián. 
Uh, Kimberly Natalie Contreras Gonzalez. Present. Excellent, thank you. Marvin Alberto Morales Solórzano. Marvin Alberto. Hmm. Okay. Um, Maynor uh, Alexander Santos Solis. Present. Thank you. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Uh, Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Uh, Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. Rafael Antonio. Romeo Antonio, perdón, yes. Romeo Antonio Gutiérrez Cerrón. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Romeo, is it possible for you to change your name so it's complete, like it appears in your doing? Yes, teacher, solo que he tenido un pequeño problema con la computadora y se me está reiniciando, por eso me conecté en el teléfono. Okay. Ya me conecto bien y voy completo. Okay, vale, de acuerdo. Okay. Um, okay. Ruth del Carmen Rosales v Villeda. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Víctor Manuel Argueta Rauda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, and Janira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay, excellent. Thank you, everybody. Um, thank you for connecting on time. And what we're going to do is start right away with our class. So please tell me if um, you are able to see my screen. Just a moment. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So yesterday we were, we started looking at this about the future would be going to um and we saw how to make questions and how to make affirmative sentences and how to make um, negative sentences right so uh we learned that the structure that we use for this is always going to be the subject plus the verb to be and the verb to be can be in, in any of one of the forms of the, um, depending on the subject. So it can be is, sorry, is, are, or am. After that, we're gonna always use going to, and then the verb in base form. Okay, so, um, whatever it is, you don't change. But the verb has to be in the original form. There is absolutely no change, okay? Um, you don't put ed, you don't put ing, you don't put s, you don't put um, to, nothing, nothing at all, okay? So that's the structure that we use. And when we have a question, we simply change, we change the subject and the verb be around. So instead of starting with the subject, we're gonna start with be, right? 
B plus, I'm oh, sorry, B and remember B is gonna be in any form. Um, could be is, R or M plus going to, oh, sorry, 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 my mistake. Plus subject. And teacher. Plus going to, plus verb in base form. And of course the question mark. Somebody had a question? Did someone have a question? Um, sí, eh, al momento de pasar la lista, eh, se me, me sacó la plataforma, pero acá estoy presente. Rafael oh. Aguilar present. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So these are the structures that we talked about yesterday, okay? Um, and remember that we said that if it's negative, it's the same structure. It's going to be exactly the same structure. The only difference is that over here, we're going to we're going to put not. So we're not just going to put is R or M. You're going to put the word not. That's going to be basically the difference between using affirmative and negative. So do you have any questions about this at this moment? Questions about any of this? Okay, so that is what we learned yesterday. Um, and what we're gonna do just a second. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do these exercises here. Which I'm going to make a little bit smaller so we can see them better. Okay, so the question is, what are these people going to do this weekend? Okay, um, I don't necessarily want you to write all of these sentences down. It's more about speaking. I'm more interested that you can speak. Okay, so what do you think? So they are, she is, he is, blah, 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 blah. Okay, do we understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to share these pictures with you in the WhatsApp group. Let's stop sharing for a moment. Give me a moment. Um. Okay, just a second. Está. Está. Loading. Okay. All right. So right now, oh, this is very slow. Okay, so right now I'm sending you the, the picture in the WhatsApp group so that you guys can uh, talk it over with your classmates what you believe 
uh, they will be doing on the weekend. Okay. So, uh, any questions? Or are the instructions clear? It's clear. Clear? Yeah? Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. I just want to make sure you guys are there because I don't see some faces. Uh, Dora, Dora Stephanie, Gloria Elizabeth, Mayno Alexander, Kimberly Natal Natalie, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. So guys, we're going to open the rooms right now. Um, and here we go. Let's open the rooms. Catherine, Gloria, are you having problems connecting? Catherine, Gloria. Progress. Para eso quizás mandó la imagen que mandó. No puede ir a nada. El grupo, está en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Sí? Quizás para, para que... Do you girls have questions? Hello, me. Hi. Do you have questions? Casi no le oigo. Me repite, por favor. Casi no le entendí, me dice lo que íbamos a hacer. No comprendo. No compre. Ok, no hay problema, pero es importante que me pregunten cuando no, cuando no entiendan algo, pregúntenlo. Porque si yo no hubiera entrado, imagínense, se quedan sí. sin hacer nada. ¿verdad? Entonces, con gusto yo les ayudo. Con gusto les, les respondo cualquier inconveniente, inquietud que tengan. Pero, pero solo, solo necesito que me dejen saber. ¿Ok? Ok. So, para, para eso fue que nos envió en el grupo la, la imagen. De... Yeah. So you're going to be talking about what those people are going to do. It's, this is the future plans. This is a future plans. So what does it mean what, when, when you say, I am going to um, swim tomorrow? What does that mean? I am going to swim tomorrow. What does it mean? 
I am going to swim. What does that mean? No, what does it mean? What is the meaning? Tell me, tell me, what do you understand? I am going to swim. No, okay, if I write, if I tell you, I am going to swim tomorrow, what is the meaning? I am going to swim tomorrow. I wrote it, I'm writing right now in the chat in Zoom. Moment. I am going dinner. I'm going to swim tomorrow. What does that mean? What is the meaning? Yeah. Yo voy a Tomorrow. Mañana. Exactly. I'm going to swim tomorrow. Yo voy a nadar mañana. Okay. And if I say she is going to cook um, lasagna. Uh, tonight. What does that mean? Ella. Ella qué? Ella es. Vale, ¿para qué, hemos, ¿para qué se usa esto, esta estructura? Sí. ¿Mm? O going to. Going to. ¿Para qué se usa? Es para decir que está haciendo algo. ¿Para, para qué se usa esta estructura, Sonia? Cállate, por favor. Ok, bye. Es muy importante, chicas. Y déjenme decirle y que esto es muy, pero de vital importancia que cuando tengan preguntas, hagan esas preguntas. Porque... Veo que el problema no es en sí que no entendieron el, el, la actividad, sino que no han entendido la estructura. Entonces, si no entendemos la estructura, no podemos hacer la actividad. ¿Vean? Entonces, esto viene del día de ayer. Eh, ¿Estuvimos en la clase el día de ayer? Sí, de, yo el día de ayer no me pude conectar porque está, está bastante mal de salud entonces por eso hoy okay. y tampoco he podido trabajar en la plataforma por eso es que no me cuesta hasta pronunciar porque tengo problemas con el, para hablar ahorita ok, ok, entiendo, no hay problema <risa> eh, vale. si lo que podemos hacer siempre que no podemos conectarnos por X o Y motivo eh, ahí está la, la grabación de las clases, ¿verdad? Entonces, repasemos las grabaciones, ¿verdad? Para que podamos um, tener la información y que nos, nos estemos ahí juntos, o sea, al día ahí con todos los demás, 
Okay. Eh, ¿Quién es? Ando perdido. No me Ajá. Sí, yo sí, pero el agua me sacaba de la plataforma. Ok, entiendo. Vale, entonces, igual, eh, ¿tiene usted acceso ahí para, para el, 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 um, la plataforma, pero en los playlists de YouTube, verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, vale, entonces siempre trate, por si por X o Y motivo usted no puede estar en la clase, trate de entrar eh, a la plataforma eh, y vea lo, el, el, los videos desde la plataforma o si no, a través del de, playlist de, de YouTube. Pero el punto es de que usted repase la información, que no se pierde nada, porque um, si no, no, o sea, si lo perdemos, entonces después es difícil entender la clase. Ahora, si no han entendido uh, algo, también es importante que pregunten, que pregunten en la clase. Yo ahí estoy disponible para responderles, pero necesito que pregunten, porque si no quedamos con las dudas y entonces después esa, esa pregunta que era como el tamaño de un charquito, después se hace más grande un, como una laguna, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, Solamente necesito eso, que, que comuniquen, ¿verdad? Que comuniquen que, que no han entendido algo y yo con gusto les ayudo. ¿Ok? So, let, let me explain this again. Um, give me a moment. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Sí, sí, en la primera estábamos, decía, yo voy a nadar mañana o iré a nadar mañana. Estamos diciendo que going to significa ir. Ajá, exactly. So, um, so this is about the future. Okay, this is talking about the future. Exactly what it is, is it's talking about the future plans. Okay, it's talking about future plans. Okay. Future plans and intentions. Okay, this is what we use the structure for. Futuro plano planes e intención. Exactly. Yes, that's what we use it for. Okay. 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 So this structure is to talk about what you are thinking of doing or what your heart desires. Okay, so we do, what we do is we use first the subject, which is I, for example, or she, or they, it's the subject, okay? After that, we're gonna be using the verb to be. So we say am, okay, or is, or they, or are, okay? After, it's always, always, always going to be going to. Going to. Yeah, all the time we're gonna say going to. Going to, going to, going to. It's always gonna be going to. Going to, going to, going to. Okay. 
And finally, y la we're going to be, se va yeah, hacer. exactly. Then the verb, the verb celebrate, stay, invite, take, sing, give. And the, and the verb is going to be in the original form. There's going to be no change. No change. No S, no I-N-G, no E-D, nothing. No change at all. Okay? All right? So this is going to say, you say, I'm going to celebrate my birthday in Spanish. What is that? I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Yo se, yo iré. Yo voy a celebrar. A celebrar. Exacto. Voy a celebrar mi I'm going to stay home. Yo voy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Stay, 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 on, stay, 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 quedarme. Ah, yo voy a quedarme a casa. En casa, good, okay, very good. Sonia, what about this one? She's going to invite all, all my friends. ¿Qué significa? She's going to invite all my friends. Sonia, tiene que abrir el micrófono. ¿Qué significa? She's going to invite all my friends. Sonia? Yeah. Ella? Va? A invitar a su. So, pero, Sonia, acuérdese que esto es future plans and intentions. Son los planes a futuro. So, ella va ella va invite. ¿Qué es invite? Sonia, invite. Ok, good. So, ella va ella va perdón, no le escucho, Sonia ella va ella va invitar a, a mi amiga a mis amigos ella va a invitar a mis amigos good, she's going to take me out for dinner ¿qué significa? Ella Ella Sonia ¿Qué dijimos que es going to? Va Va Va, ok Entonces ella Voy a ir Va Es lo mismo no he cambiado nada. Mm -hmm. Ella va, she's going to, ella, acuérdense, she's going to invite all my friends. Ella va a invitar a mis amigos. So, she's going to take me out. Ella va. Ella mm -hmm. va qué? Sonia, ¿está conmigo? 
Sí, no, no sé el significado de lo que sí. ¿El qué? ¿No, no sabe el significado de qué? ¿El qué? La continuación de la oración. Sonia, no la escucho bien. Necesita. Eh, eh, um, sin, sin, no, no se cubre la boca porque si se cubre la boca no la escucho bien. Sí, es que ahorita te, tengo un problema en la boca, por eso que no puedo hablar fuerte. No, no, pero es que no necesito que solamente no se cubra porque si se cubre. Entonces, no, o sea, si ya tiene problemas para, para hablar y se cubre menos que le voy a poder entender. Entonces, solo eso le estoy pidiendo. Sí, ¿Ah? porque me duele que a veces Ok, Bye. pero ¿qué ha entendido usted? ¿Qué es going to? ¿Qué significa going to? Necesito saber que usted ha entendido esto. ¿Por qué? Porque si no, si no me da indicación de que lo ha entendido, entonces me preocupa. Porque si no, no va a poder seguir con, con, con el resto. Porque no va a poder eh, hacer la plataforma y todo. Entonces, me, me, yo quiero asegurarme que se lo ha entendido. Pero lo que yo comprendo que, y, que es un futuro cercano en el que uno se refiere. Ajá, sí, correcto, pero quiero saber qué significa eso. She's going to take me out for dinner. Ella va. Ella va. Ella va. Continúe. No sé el significado de llevar. Take out. Va, entonces pregunte. What does take out me. Pregunta en inglés, what does take out me? What time? Sonia, pregúnteme, what does take what out me? What does the Take out, take out means sacar. Entonces sería ella. Ella me va a llevar a sacar a cenar. Sonia. Ok, Sonia, necesito, no, no, no sé qué está pasando aquí, pero necesito que, no sé, necesito, no sé si es que se, se, se siente mal o, o, o qué, pero necesito un poquito más de su colaboración, que me diga qué, 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 qué piensa, qué está pasando, lo entendió, no lo entendió, pero si solo se queda callada, no puedo ayudarle mucho. ¿Entiende? Pues, el problema es que es una palabra que no sé el significado, pero okay. lo que sí tengo el going, going to, sí, ya tengo la idea. Ok. Muy bien, entonces... Como, como en Muy bien, ¿y qué significa? Uh -huh. si, si, si tiene la idea, ¿qué Eso significa? Va a referir a un futuro, algo que va a suceder. Entonces ¿no? significa, no. va a hacer algo. Así. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Va, muy bien. Ahora, Sonia, es importante que usted se acostumbre a preguntar. Y preguntar en inglés. ¿Cómo se pregunta? Si usted no entiende una palabra en inglés, ¿cómo se pregunta? What, what it take? Por ejemplo. 
pregunta. En español se pregunta, ¿qué significa tal cosa? ¿Verdad? Entonces, en inglés, eso se dice, what does mean? Ok, aquí está en el chat. Necesito ¿Qué? que se escriba esto. Eh, ahorita creo que se le va a borrar cuando lo regrese al, al, al grupo principal. Pero necesito que lo escriba y que utilice esto cuantas veces sea necesario. No se quede con las dudas. Si usted no entendió una palabra, no se quede sin saber. Porque esa palabra va a seguir recurriendo en todos los cursos. Y si usted no entendió, ha entendido esa palabra, el problema ya no va a ser las otras estructuras, sino que va a ser que usted no ha entendido el, el contenido. Entonces, el, por eso pregunte siempre. No tenga pena en preguntar, pero pregunte, pregunte, pregunte. ¿Ok? Sonia, no hay nada de malo en preguntar. No, nadie, nadie la va a criticar porque usted no sabe. Eh, es mejor preguntar una vez y tener la idea tener esa respuesta, que siempre tener esa duda y no poder pasar de ahí porque tengo esa duda. ¿Ok, Sonia? Así que no se preocupe. Yo aquí estoy para ayudarle, pero necesito que usted eh, me, me diga, mire, teacher, yo no entiendo esta palabra. ¿Qué significa esta palabra? Pero por supuesto en inglés. Vea, pregúnteme. What, teacher, what does take out mean? I don't understand. Y yo con gusto le ayudo. Yo le digo, take out means tal cosa. Ok, va, perfecto. Ya no sal, salimos de esa duda. Ok, Sonia. Bien. ¿Está todo hecho? ¿Trato hecho, Sonia? ¿Sí? Ok, ok, perfecto. Uh, voy a regresar a todos a, a, a la sala principal, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. El, el diploma, pero del número dos más. Ah, ok. Pero ahí, me, ahí hay que meterse a la, al módulo. Ahí es, es donde... Tú pones los, mis cursos y ahí te salen los que ya llevaste y el, que está, y el que está ahorita, que es el 3, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. el 1 a mí ya me parece para descargarlo, pero el 2 todavía no. Ah, ok. Ah. A mí el, el del módulo 1 me lo enviaron por correo. Menos el Vamos módulo 1 me lo enviaron por correo. Vale, chicos. Pero es que vaya. Eh, la para, la, para los diplomas... Um, ahorita están trabajando en esos diplomas de los módulos pasados, así que solo tengan paciencia, ¿verdad? Porque apenas vamos terminando el, el nivel 2, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, pues se necesita un poquito de tiempo para que, para que se generen todos esos diplomas. Así que solo les pedimos un poquito de paciencia para que podamos ya... Eh, entregarle su diploma del 2. ¿Ok? Thank you, Miss. Uh -huh. es, que, es que el del 1 estamos esperando todavía. Es que ese es el problema. Sí, como en el caso, no en el caso me faltan sí, del sí. módulo 1 y módulo 2. Ok. Sí, bueno, bueno, a mí me falta hasta el de módulo 1. Ok. Bueno, igual, eh, todos los diplomas, eh, eh, tengo, tengo confirmación de, de administración de que sí se están ahorita trabajando en eso, así que solamente les pedimos un poquito de paciencia y les vamos a avisar cuando ya estén todos listos. Ok, pero Thank sí. You, uh -huh. Ok, so, uh, any questions so far? Do you have any questions about the structure? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, en español se lo voy a preguntar porque <ríe> este, el verbo final nunca cambia. Digamos el complemento. So the verb, the verb is always going to be in the original form. We are not going to change anything. ¿Ok? okay. We're not going to change anything at all. En, okay. En el no. ejemplo de... Uh, 
eh, aparece dancing y en el en la, en el picture one y cambia la forma del verbo original um, the, oh no the verb is go they're going to go dancing no es el verbo ah, el verbo es go no pero es el, en el complemento el, el complemento de la que le... sí el complemento sí, es una actividad no es un uh -huh. verbo, es una actividad. Dancing es una actividad, no es, no es un verbo. Es una actividad, o sea, un sustantivo. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Uh, All right. Yo pensaba que en, eh, como ya se usaba going en dancing, ya no aplicaba dancing, pero estaba viendo que sí. No, the verb is go. Ah. Okay. Sería entonces go so, to the dancing. No, okay, hold on. I'm going to share. Going to go. Okay, so this is what you're talking about, right? Okay, so here we have the subject. Um, okay, so this, so we have um they and she is a subject then we have the verb to be so here we have are and are okay after that we have um, <coughs> going to, it's always going to be going to. So, um, going to, oops. Going to, going to. Okay. And after that, it's the verb. And the verb is go. Here it's read. Okay? So the verb is go, not dancing. The verb is go. Dancing is a complement. It's a complement, yes. Correct. It's a complement. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. We understand? It's clear? O sea que el complemento sí se puede usar el verbo ink. Es que en realidad eso no es un verbo. Pero, pero para que ustedes entiendan eso, um, es, otro, es otro tema. Y, y, y no quiero entrar en detalles de eso porque um, si no, o sea, los voy a confundir. Y, y ahorita no, o sea, lo que me interesa es que entiendan esto, la estructura. Eso es lo que me interesa. Okay, so, so dancing is just a compliment. Okay, the verb is go. Ir a bailar. Okay, ellos van a ir a bailar. El verbo es ir, go. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. uh, dancing is, is compliment. Yes. Correct. It's a compliment. All right. Miss. Yes. Entonces, for example, number five. They uh -huh. are going to go eating. Oh, okay. they are uh, going just, to just, eat. Just, just a moment. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're going to get into all of these answers in a moment. Okay. So just, just, just like I said. I uh, just remember dancing is a compliment. It's don't don't worry about this. It's, it's no no se estén preocupando tanto por dancing. Me preocupa más que entiendan que que el verbo es go y que go está en el en el 
la forma base, no, no hay cambio. Ok. okay. All right. Any questions? So, the, is this the structure clear? So, we have that's the subject, right. Uh. The subject, the verb to be, going to, and the verb. Okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a question mm -hmm. and the number eight. Uh, what is the activity? Okay, uh, right now let's check the answers. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna start with number one. So, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? He's going to raise. Going to go. okay. What are they going to do? Dancing. They're going to dance. They're going to they are going to go dancing. Go, okay, go. they're going to dance. They're going to go dancing. They're going to Let have fun. Go. They're going to have a date. Okay. Okay, chicos, necesito ahorita que estén uh, pendientes ahí con la clase, ¿ok? No con el chat, ¿ok? Por favor, eh, necesitamos su atención acá. Después si podemos hacer inquietudes y todo. Um, ¿Ok? Um, next, number two. Just going to read. She's going, going to, to read the book. She's going to read the book. Okay. What else? He's going He's to going swim. To... Okay. Uh, she's going to swim. He's okay. going to ride. She is going to run. She's going to run. Run. Okay, she's run. going to run or maybe or she's, walk. she's going to walk. She's going to walk. She's going to do walk. exercise. Yeah. Okay. Um okay, next. Number 5. They are going they, to eat. They're going to eat. eat. They they're are going, going are to going. have a date. They're going to have a date. Yes, they're going to have a date. Anything else? Teacher, I can say they are going to have a lunch. They're going to have lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? He's going to watch TV. Okay, and for number five, let's 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 just check for number five. Anything else? They're going to go eating. They're going to go out to um uh to eat out to eat going out to eat. Mm -hmm. They're going to go out to eat. Okay, number six. He's going to watch TV. He's going to watch TV. Anything else? She's going to go watching, watching the movie. Go watching the movie, no, because you only go and do something that is outside of your house. Oh. But in this case, or yeah, outside in the outdoors. But in this case, he's inside. So you can say he's going to, for example, see his favorite movie. Okay, could be. Um, next. Number seven. They are, they are going to the cinema. They're going to the cinema. They're going to the cinema. Mm -hmm. Good. 
Anything else? They are going to watch the movie. Okay, they're going to watch a movie. They're, they're in, going in a, to see a movie. They're going to see a movie. Okay, good. Number eight. Um, he's going to work. He's going to work. He's going to work. Mm -hmm. What else? He's going to go activity. He's going to what? He's going to what? He's go working. He's going to working. Working? No. He's going to work, but not working. Work. Because okay. the verb has to be in the original form. Okay. He is going to office. He's going to go to the office. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to go okay. in the office. All right. Um in the office. I think he's is he calling someone? I'm not sure. Or I'm not sure. It looks like he's calling someone, but I'm not sure. Okay, very good. Any questions about that? You have questions? No question. No question. No? Question. No? no question. Okay. No. All right. Um okay, just um a little bit of a um of some very important information about how we reduce going to. So um everybody listen carefully. Are you gonna have a party? Repeat. Are you gonna have a party? Okay, listen, listen to what I'm listen to me. Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna have a party? Are you gonna have a party? Good. No, gonna? I'm gonna go out with a friend. No, 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 Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? I, I, yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. <laughs> Yes. yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. <laughs> okay, very good. So what do you notice about going to? How do we reduce going to? What Go do on. we Exactly, very good. So the way we reduce it is by saying, instead of saying going to, we say gonna. Are you gonna have a party? Um, No. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a friend going out. I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's cafe. Ghana. So Ghana is a way that we reduce going to, but it is very informal. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is informal English. Okay. Yeah, but it's very informal. Okay? It's like when you say in Spanish, ¿Pa qué lo quieres? ¿Pa qué lo quieres? It means, ¿Para qué lo quieres? But, we, but, but in, in, in Spanish, we reduce and we say, ¿Pa qué? ¿Pa qué? Right? ¿Pa qué lo quieres? It's the same idea. We reduce in English only in informal language by saying gonna gonna okay gonna. yeah 
Kana. Okay. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No question. No question. No question. It's clear. It's a contraction. It's a contraction. Yeah. It's a contraction. Exactly. All right. Anything that you want to ask hey. about we, before we finish? Preguntas, preguntas. Tomorrow the class is suspended. So tomorrow, yes, we are not going to be having classes tomorrow uh, because, of course, you know that tomorrow is a holiday. So mañana quedan suspendidas las clases, eh, pero para no perder la clase, eh, para no perder las, uh, las clases, las cuatro clases de esta semana, vamos a estar eh, reponiéndolo y vamos a verlos el viernes. Ok, entonces el viernes nos vemos um, a la misma hora. Ok, any questions? La misma hora y el mismo canal. Any questions? Mm -hmm. La misma hora y el mismo canal. Ok, sounds good. Ok, ok, sounds good. Thanks for having me. Ok. All right, guys, take care and see you, see you Friday. on Friday. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night.